Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So, we have a puppy in the house. And when I say a puppy, what I really mean is a 15 year old, super crotchety, super old dog that has been having trouble getting up onto the bed. Now, against my better judgment, the dogs sleep in our bed. <laughs> Word to the wise, if you get a dog, train them to not sleep in the bed. Nevertheless, the smaller of the dog is much, much older than the younger of the dog. Hopefully that's in frame. And uh, But they both sleep in the bed with us. And it's okay, but the older of the two uh, it, joints are a little tight, uh, a little arthritis. He's 15 years old, which for a dog, as many of you dog, know, uh, dog owners know, that's really quite old. And so he can no longer jump up onto the bed. The bed's, you know, average bed height. <laughs> so to fix this problem or to attempt to remedy this problem of him wanting to be on the bed and sitting on the floor and pawing at the comforter, I built him a pair of stairs. Yes, that's right, friends. I built dog stairs. It's okay. You can mock me later in the comments below. So, I am going to walk you through the design. I am going to show you the build that I did, and then I am going to show you the final product. And then, with any luck, <laughs> I'm going to show you the little puppy, not so little, well, he's little, he's just older, trying to hobble his way up the steps. All right, I hope you enjoy this, because it was actually a pretty fun build, nevertheless. Let's cut over to Fusion 360. I am going to show you the design and then we will cut over to the build montage. Uh, maybe a voiceover, who knows? We'll see what happens. And then uh, I'll try to capture a little video of him uh, getting up the stairs. Uh, so far, uh, all the training I've... Training? <laughs> training has been not so successful, but nevertheless, I'll force his little tail right up the stairs. All right, let's get on with it. I uh, hear the dogs barking upstairs, but uh, this is the design that we have. This is the dog stairs, right? Um, first off, let's go to the sketch here and talk about the sizes. Uh, I was limited to the size of the panel that I purchased, and that was the biggest constraint. If I had to do it over again, uh, I might try and choose a panel that was a different size, <laughs> uh, predominantly because it's not wide enough and it's it was tall enough. That's not really the issue. The problem is the treads ended up being uh, too uh, narrow, um, not deep enough. Nevertheless, uh, so the size of the panel is the outline here, and then I did six inch treads <clears throat> and six and a half inch uh, risers. Uh, and so that it led me to this size here. You'll notice that there's just a little bit left over here, which is no big deal uh, at the end of the day when constructing this. So, all right, so here is the model itself. What you have are the two outside panels, one on one side, one on the other. Now in the model, I included a back panel. When I ended up building it, I did not include the back panel because it was plenty rig uh, rigid enough that I did not need the back panel. I thought maybe that it might want to like collapse in on itself, uh, but this three quarter inch uh, Baltic birch that I purchased was uh, more than <clears throat> stable enough. And so what I ended up doing is the side panels here, left and right are with the Baltic birch. And then I created the treads, uh, which are these guys right here out of this, uh, all right, so I ended up making the treads here out of what is known as hackberry. It's spalted hackberry, which I got from the wood store. It looked amazing. It's basically, it looks like a ash or, or maple. It's super white and it's got some, uh, because it's spalted, it's got the kind of black streaks in it and little pits here and there. 
but it looks really, really cool. In fact, uh, the risers here, uh, the front faces here, I actually made out of that as well. So, uh, but the design itself, super simple. Like I said, I think these treads here are not deep enough. They need to be probably another two inches would be my guess. So if I had more length, I would have made it much longer. The height I think is fine for the little Pequeno puppy that we have in this particular scenario. So let's cut back over to the, uh, the making video. for the lighting it is what it is this is magnum magnum's hold magnum's crotchety magnum loves to lick okay let's go oh no come on no no come on come on up up come on come on up good boy oh come on one more one more Yay! Oh, look at you. Someday you'll need these steps. Yes, you will. Oh, yes, you will. Okay, man, I hoped you liked that. It was a great build. It's actually quite easy. Not a lot of complications to it. The hardest part I had was the jigsaw. Did not have the right blade on. Uh, choose the right blade makes the cutting very straightforward uh, and then it's just a bunch of screws now I chose pocket screws you don't have to do pocket screws if you want your screw heads to show um, that's okay no big deal but the pocket screws make everything look kind of like there's no actual screws holding it together so and you saw the video um, Magnum the older of the two puppies uh, uh, begrudgingly went up the stairs. <laughs> um, we love him to death, uh, but he is old, he is crotchety, he's got little idiosyncrasies that we need to deal with, but you know, he's still in really great shape for his age, and so I can't fault him for that. I hope when I am uh, 15 times 7 dog years old <laughs> that I am equally spry and um, just short of getting on the bed. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching. Thank you for making it this far. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs up, but leave a comment down below why you don't like it, and we will try to make these videos better. All right, that's it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, and don't forget to be inspired. <laughs> Why is it that every time I want to record something, you're outside and you want to get all excited and you want to like come visit me, huh? You were upstairs, you were snoozing. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, 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 I get 
your belly. I get your belly. I get your belly. I get your belly. Oh, belly, belly, belly. Belly, belly, belly. Belly, belly, belly. belly. Oh, I got your belly. I get your belly. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> oh, friends. Okay. Stop. Stop. Sit. Sit. <laughs> oh, friends, we are done. We're out. <laughs>